Vodkam YouTubers and Hubson Xenium Enthusiasts. Uh, this is the second um, of a series of videos on Hubson Myths and today's myth is the Xeno is restricted in firmware to 1000 meters range. Uh, so I'm now going to discuss that and show you why I can't see any evidence of that whatsoever. I'm not sure where people get that from. It may only be capable of a thousand meters um, range because of the uh, physical constraints of the design, but there is no firmware lock, as people put it, to suggest that it's locked or restricted in any way to 1,000 meters. So, watch up. If you want to see the previous myth, which was myth number one, put a link to it up here, and I will also put links up here or up here, wherever it is, to um, further myth videos, which I'll be doing in the future. So, here it comes, and uh, comment and let me know what you think. Okay, let's start with what Hubson have given us. They've given us some warning uh, notifications in the app, low battery, automatic return, and of course, um, the aircraft has reached its maximum altitude permitted. So do they give us the same for when it reaches the um, range maximum? Not that I've ever seen. What do we get when we see the range maximum? Well, range maximum usually is when we lose disconnect, we disconnect from the aircraft due to lack of signal. Um, we would expect if we reached a thousand meters before that, we would get some sort of warning. So 1057, we didn't get a, a warning. We didn't get any indication that the um, the range was locked in any way, or there was any firmware restriction in going further. Maybe that was just a one-off. So uh, let's try again then, perhaps. Um, well, we've already exceeded a thousand meters here, and that's 1458. Um, still no warning, still no um, indication that there's any firmware restriction at 1,000 metres. Uh, let's try it again then. Again, well over 1,000 metres. Um, still no indications of any sort of lock. And there we go, 1196. And is it going to get any better than that? Surely at some time we're going to see this firmware restriction cup being notified. Now we've got 1238 that time. Still no notification of any range exceeded. Just the usual disconnect. 1200 meters. No, so well over a thousand again. Again, no indication of any restriction. We just keep going and going and going. Oh, one, two, nine, two. Once again, 300 meters over this um, imaginary 1,000 kilometer firmware restriction. But um, presumably we're going to come up and see. Oh, no, 1190. Anyway, let's do a few more. See if we get anywhere close to 1,000 meters and let's see if we get close to any sort of indication that there might be some sort of restriction on the range. Coming up to 1545 on this one, there's the disconnect. Again, no restriction, no message to say that we've reached the range maximum. Just a normal disconnection. This is looking promising because we're well below 1,000 here, so we could get this magical 1,000 kilometer lock at any moment now. Oh, it's looking good. Definitely looking good, this one. Are we going to... Oh, 981. Didn't even make the 1000 that time. Anyway, let's keep going. This is obviously looking promising. Or I wouldn't have put it in the video. It's very low, this. Only 200 metres. 200 and 300 metres. Why have I put this one in? I have no idea. Oh no, 342 meters. That was nowhere near a thousand, and yet it's disconnected. Oh, oh, I thought we were going to get the thousand there. I thought we were going to get the magical message and the magical restriction at a thousand meters, but no, we've gone over the top again. 1022, any advance on that? No, that looks like up that one for today. Now maybe this one will be the 
the one that confirms to us that there's a firmware restriction at 1000 meters. So we're looking for 1000 meters exactly. 999, we're getting close. Oh, we didn't make it. Maybe they meant 999 to 1001. Who knows? Yeah, so all this has been a bit tongue-in-cheek and uh, a bit flippant, but it does go to prove the point that there's no indication whatsoever of any restriction at the 1000 meter mark. Otherwise, we would see consistently 1000 meter. We would hopefully see some sort of error message since Hobson are pretty good at putting those in or information notification. But yet here we go. I've gone to 800, 1863.7. And I've actually just had to turn around because uh, I'm worried about getting home at all. So if you can see where this restriction at 1000 is, please let me know because my testing does not show anything which would indicate that there is any firmware lock on the range of the Xeno. Okay, so that was myth number two. Um, let me know what you thought of that. Coming up will be myth number three in a couple of days' time once I get around to shooting some video for it. And uh, if you like this sort of stuff, let me know below and I'll, I'll do some more or I'll do some of the stuff that if you request it. All the best and happy flying.